Chapter 3 Wearing Your Life Vest The life vest is designed to continually monitor your heart so that it can deliver a treatment shock when you need it. The life vest is also able to provide your physician with information on the way your heart is working and responding to medical therapy. In order to make sure that you are always protected, it is important that you assemble and wear your life vest as instructed. We will now review how to put together the electrode belt and the garment. Before you begin, lay both the electrode belt and the garment on a flat surface. Lay the garment down with the silver fabric facing upward. Lay the electrode belt next to the garment so that the silver sides of the therapy pads are facing upward as well. Now you can get started. The first step is to insert the pair of therapy pads into the large pockets of the garment. These pockets are called the rear pockets and are numbered 1. Make sure that the silver sides of the pads, the sides with the green stickers, are facing the silver mesh on the pockets. Secure the pads in place by closing the snaps. The second step is to attach the vibration box. To do this, Position the vibration box in the area with the number 2. You may need to check your patient manual to see how to attach the vibration box for your life vest. Secure the vibration box in place. To do this, pull the flap over the vibration box and use the blue tabs to snap into place. Ensure that all three snaps are securely fastened before proceeding. When you have secured the vibration box in place, insert the single therapy pad into the front pocket. The front pocket is numbered 3. Once again, make sure that the silver side of the pad with the green sticker is facing the silver fabric on the pocket. When the therapy pad is fully inserted, snap the pocket closed. The final step in putting together the electrode belt and the garment is to attach the electrodes. To do this, match the colors on the back of each electrode to the colors of the Velcro on the garment. This is what your assembled electrode belt and garment should look like. Now that you have attached the electrode belt to the garment, you are ready to put on the garment. In order to work correctly, the life vest therapy pads and electrodes must be against the body. The silver mesh of the garment must be pressing against your bare skin. So, before you put the life vest on, remove all clothing from your upper body. Then, slide the life vest garment on like a backpack and hook it together at the front of your chest. Make sure that the hooks are fully inserted past the bumps in the clips. When done correctly, you should hear an audible click sound. Women should put on the life vest before putting on a bra. Every time you put on your life vest, make sure that the garment is not twisted and that the silver side of the therapy pads is facing the silver mesh and is against your skin. After you have put on the garment, connect the electrode belt to the monitor. This must be done carefully, so check your patient manual to see exactly how to connect the electrode belt to the monitor. After the electrode belt is connected to the monitor, insert a fully charged battery into the monitor. When you insert a charged battery in the life vest, the startup process will begin. You will hear a repeated gonging sound and feel a vibration. When you feel the vibration, press and release both of the response buttons at the same time to activate the life vest. If you do not hear a gong alert or feel a vibration within 30 seconds of inserting the battery, remove and reinsert the battery, and when you feel the vibration, press and release the response buttons. Now that you have inserted a fully charged battery into the monitor and activated it, your life vest is ready to monitor your heart and protect you. Your life vest comes with two batteries. While you're using one, the other should be charging. Place the used battery into the charger and firmly push it into place. Read the battery status on the charger to ensure that the battery is being charged. 
Leave the battery in the charger with the charger plugged in at all times until you again need to change the life vest batteries. It is best to make battery changing and charging part of a daily routine. We recommend that you change the battery around the same time each day, preferably as part of your morning routine to make it easy to remember. For more information on inserting and removing your batteries, please refer to your patient manual. It is very important that you wear the life vest as instructed and download data from your life vest device regularly, at least once a week. If your device has not sent data in more than seven days, you will receive a prompt when you insert the battery instructing you to send data manually with a message on the monitor saying, time to send data. For more information on how to download and send data to Zoll, please refer to your patient manual. Remember, it is important to assemble and wear your life vest as instructed so that it is ready to protect you if you need it. Remember, before putting on the life vest, remove all clothing from your upper body. The silver mesh of the garment must press against your bare skin. Make charging and changing the battery part of your daily routine. Download data from your life vest device at least once a week. If you still have questions about the batteries, garment, or downloading and sending data, call Zoll at 1-800-543-3267.